In this CSS lesson, we will demonstrate automatic numbering of web page elements. So first, let's take a look at our HTML, and then we'll apply the CSS to make the magic happen on top of the HTML. Let's take a look at that HTML rendered to the browser. So you can see there's a, a big heading, a smaller heading, and then three items under that heading. And then this other heading has four items under it. Okay, so that's what you see here is the H2 are the smaller headings, and this H1 is the big heading. And you can put as many items as you want in there, but I'm keeping it nice and short just for the lesson's sake. Okay, so right above the HTML, let's add the CSS. So we'll open up a style tag, and we'll put the type as text CSS. Then we'll go down a couple of lines and close off that style tag. Now inside of that style tag, I'm going to put some CSS, just a little bit, and I'll explain it to you right now. Okay, this first line and this second line are pretty similar. They're using the counter reset syntax to reset counters every time one of these elements are rendered to the page. This counter will reset so that the next time the element is rendered again to the page, it'll have a reset counter. So for instance, every time every occurrence on the page of an H1 element will reset this section counter. Then every time an H2 element, you can see that happens twice on the page. Every time that is rendered to the page, this subsection counter gets reset. So that's what those two lines are doing. Sets them back to zero. Then we're simply using the before selector to place content before the tag renders. So you can put any kind of content in you. So if I was to type in a bunch of nonsense, then save that and render that to the browser, you'll see that there's a bunch of nonsense every time an H2 element is met. Now let's remove this gobbledygook right there and let's take a look at what's happening within this line. We'll render to the browser. You can see it puts a one, a dot, and a space before my element or before the content in my element. So you know that number one is derived or is coming from this counter function right here. And then you use the counter increment syntax to increment the section number. So this number section is going to get incremented for the next H2 element that the page happens to hit. So let's take a look at that. See, there's the first H2 element that gets a number one. The second H2 element gets a number two. That's why you see a difference in those numbers. They're incrementing. Then we do a similar thing for the paragraph tags. And let's take a look at that really quick before we discuss it. You can see in the paragraph tags, before the content within the tag, CSS is adding the section number, then a point, and then the subsection number. So you can see it says 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, letting the viewer know that these items are under main section of 1. And then you can see down here, these start with a number 2, just to let the viewer know that it's under the section 2. So the way it's getting the number in place is using this counter function. And then you put your dot as a string, and then you use the counter function again to list the subsection number. And then you put a little space right there. And then after that, you increment the subsection. And that's why you see different numbers here. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, the 1, 2, and 3 that you see there are incremented subsection numbers. And that's pretty much it. And the before functionality works very simple. You can just, if you wanted to see how it is in its raw form, you can just add content to it of whatever you want. If you didn't want to have counters, like what if I want to say poop dot real big before every age 2 Let's see what happens. See? Poop dot poop dot. But then that messes up your, your counting or your automatic numbering. So the before selector really isn't doing any of the incrementing or anything like that. It's just, it sticks content before every occurrence of that tag is rendered to the page. It's going to put content that you specify here right before that content. All right, so that's how you can achieve automatic numbering using CSS.